2018 Urban Sketchers Symposium here in Porto, Portugal. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? Matthew Brain, and I live in Moscow, Idaho. I'm a professor of architecture at the University of Idaho. Fantastic. And can you tell me a little bit about what it is that you typically like to teach in a workshop? Typically, I, I try to focus on uh, the strategies that we use to really begin to see and translate what we see to the page. Mm -hmm. So the fundamentals of sketching is what my workshop is called here, and I've taught similar workshops in the past that are really focused, again, on seeing and being able to translate what we see to the page in order to create a structure from which you can go in a lot of different directions. I, I think that most people, when they begin to draw, are trying to achieve some level of accuracy in what they see, but that it's a very difficult thing to do sometimes uh, to translate that, what you're seeing through your eyes, to the page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And do you have some examples that you can show me? Certainly. Uh, this is a drawing that I did just yesterday here in Porto that I think demonstrates what I'm talking about in my workshops, which has to do with capturing urban space mm -hmm. with a, a reasonable degree of accuracy, right. uh, paying attention to light and shade as a way of depicting three-dimensional space, mm -hmm. uh, and bringing a sense of drama to, to street scenes and public life that, that draws us in, uh, and bringing that home in a sketchbook. So these are the kinds of things that I really focus on in trying to convey in my classes. Excellent. Do you have another example? Sure. Uh, one of the things that I also like to do quite a lot is watercolor. Uh, I happen to believe that, that the best watercolors I've ever done have been founded on a good, clear structure. Uh, again, something that is about accuracy and proportion, geometry, etc. Uh, and in, in crafting that kind of a basis for a drawing, watercolor becomes, I think, a little bit easier. At least it does for me. And I've, I've really experienced that with everyone that's ever taken any of my workshops or classes, that the structure, the underlying drawing structure of what they're trying to do can, can give them a sense of focus and purpose in adding watercolor. Right, beautiful, beautiful Thank watercolor. You. Really, really nice. Do you have another example? Oh, sure. I have a, a lot of a whole <laughs> uh, I also, I, I teach in Rome uh, every year. I bring a group of students from my university to Rome. And uh, so we spend quite a lot of time out and about and drawing. So because we're studying architecture, we also tend to draw things like plans and sections and other kinds of drawings that help us to understand how we visually perceive places as well. So a different kind of structure, and that's what this is showing, is a perspectival view matched with a plan view of the same place. Right, right. Beautiful. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you so much, Matthew, for chatting with me today. You bet. Thank you.